You just got yourself a brand new laptop or desktop and you need some help setting it up. I got you covered. Let's get into it. I'm going to show you how to set up that brand new laptop or PC. We'll bypass those requirements to sign in with the Microsoft account. I'll show you what kind of garbage you need to get rid of, how to turn off some of those settings Windows likes to use to spy on you, and we'll tweak and optimize your Windows 11 for a better experience. But first, I got to keep the lights on, so check out today's sponsor. Are you using an unregistered version of Windows 11? Then you need to check out keysfan.com. Keysfan offers a wide range of products including Windows 11, Windows 10, and even older versions like Windows 7. Need all the software? They got you covered with keys for Office 2019 and Office 2021. And here's the best part. You can save big with exclusive coupon codes by using my code RKT50 to get 50% off all Windows series. That means you can get Windows 11 Pro for less than $20. But wait, there's more. For Microsoft Office, use my code RKT62 to get a massive 62% off. Buying is super easy. Just add your chosen product key to your cart, apply the coupon code, and pay securely via PayPal or credit card. You'll receive your genuine activation key in no time. Once you have your product key, go back to the activation page, click on change product key, enter the product key you just purchased, and click activate. Be sure to check out keysfan.com. Real quick, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me out tremendously and it gets my videos out to more people. Thank you and let's get back to the video. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. Go ahead and power up that new PC and I'll meet you on the computer. Okay, so as soon as it powers up, it comes to this screen here where we're going to verify our region and then I'm gonna verify my keyboard layout and I'm gonna skip adding an additional layout. And now when it gets to this screen where it says, let's connect you to a network, I'm gonna type in Shift F10. And when we get to the command prompt, I'm going to type in the O-O-B-E backslash bypass N-R-O and hit enter. And now it's going to restart. And when it comes back up, I should have the option to bypass. Okay, after the reboot, we're now back at the region screen again. I'm just gonna click yes. Yes for the keyboard layout, skip a second layout. And now that we're back to the let's connect you to a network screen, you can see that I do have the I don't have internet option down here below. So this method at least still works on this new PC. I'm gonna click yes to accept the license agreement. And then now I'm gonna enter my name to set up a local account. I'm gonna click next. When it asks for a password, I'm not gonna put one in there cause I don't want one for my local account. I'm just gonna click next. And we have successfully bypassed the Microsoft account requirement and set up a local account on this new PC. I'm going to turn all these options here off. And then I'm going to accept. It wants me to register the product, but I'm just going to skip past that. I'm not going to consent to any of these things here. And I'm going to click next. It's completing the initial setup. I'll go ahead and fast forward until the next screen where we need to take action. Okay, and now we're in the desktop of our brand new PC for the first time. And obviously there's some third party bloatware on here that we know we want to get rid of. But for now, I'm going to do the first thing that I always do. And let's go to my taskbar settings and my taskbar behaviors and move my start menu to the left like a normal person. And the very first thing I see on here that will be the first thing to go is this garbage McAfee. That should always be the first thing you take off of any new PC and just put something free on there, like Bitdefender free for Windows. I've got plenty of videos on that. Everything seems to be pretty responsive. I did add Google Chrome as a browser and I did remove the McAfee antivirus that's on here because that is more of a nuisance than any bug you're gonna pick up. You can use the native Windows Defender or watch my video on Bitdefender free for Windows. I don't just use the Windows uninstaller because it leaves a lot of files and registry values and things behind. So one of the things that I did was download Revo uninstaller. 
I've got videos on my channel about using Revo Uninstall if you want to check that out. But basically what it will do, and there's a free version that I use, is it will remove all remnants of the program from your computer. Everything. That's why I install that first so that I can get rid of all traces of McAfee. I'll go ahead and run Revo real quick to show you how it works so you can use that to remove McAfee. Again, watch my video if you need help on installing Revo. But basically here under the uninstaller, you have two options here, the first one, and then it has Windows apps. I'm gonna uninstall all of this HP stuff. Revo uninstaller creates a restore point prior to uninstall. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click scan. Now it shows me all of the stuff that was left over after the native uninstaller. So I'm gonna select all and delete. And these are all of the files that are left over after uninstalling. You don't realize how much junk is still on here after you uninstall something. A Revo uninstaller will get rid of it. I'm not going to use OneDrive, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that with Revo. There are some things remaining that will be removed during the next reboot. So go through here and remove anything additional, like this Web Advisor by McAfee that I missed the last time that I removed it. So let me get rid of that. Now, a lot of this stuff over here on your start menu is not actually installed on your computer, and you can just unpin it from the start menu. Next, we're going to use Chris Titus's tool to tweak, debloat, and customize our Windows 11 from a browser of your choosing. Go to Chris Titus tool. the ultimate Windows utility. You can come right here and copy this script. Just click copy, close this back out. We can open up PowerShell. We'll run as an administrator. Click yes. I'm gonna paste that script there, hit enter. And the Chris Titus tool will load and you can go to tweaks I'm going to use some recommended selections here and just click standard and you can go down through here and see what all it's going to do. I'm going to also click on Adobe Network Block, Adobe Debloat, Edge Debloat, Disable Copilot. And I'm going to select Remove All Microsoft Store Apps, not recommended. This will remove store apps like games and all that kind of stuff. That's why it's not recommended. I'm going to do it anyway. Already got my dark theme set. I don't want recommendations in my start menu. I'm turning off the Bing search and start. I'm turning off recommendations and start menu. I'm going to show hidden files. I'm going to show file extensions. If you bought a recall enabled PC and you don't want to be spot on, you can turn that off here too. And now I'm going to run tweaks. And you can see here the tools going to work. I'm going to fast forward until this tool is complete. Now that this tool has completed, I'm going to do a quick reboot and then show you one more very important feature about the Chris Titus tool. Okay, I'm going to pop back over here to the Chris Titus tool. I'm going to grab my script here again and copy. I'm going to open my PowerShell terminal back up. I'm going to run that as administrator. I'm going to go ahead and click yes. Copy my command in there, hit enter. Okay, now we did the tweaks where we did a bunch of these essential tweaks here. Now I'm going to come over here to the install because this uses the Wingate Package Manager and allows you to install all of the software you may need. So if you're using this tool, I just want to point this out. Just go through here, see if you need any of these tools or utilities. Go ahead and let the Chris Titus tool install those for you all at once. I'll go ahead and run a few here just to show you. I'll do Brave Browser. I'll grab VLC Video Player. And I'll grab GIMP Image Editor. And I'm going to go ahead and click Install. And you can see over here what's going on. I'll fast forward to these operations are complete. Okay, now you can see that this is finished and you can see it's added Brave, GIMP, and VLC Media Player to my desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. Now, one other thing that I want to show you, if you want to get a truly debloated version of Windows, you have to start with the install. Chris Titus gives you the ability to do that here by creating an ISO that does not contain all of the Microsoft third-party stuff and the HP stuff and all this other junk. You can do that here. 
I also have a video on doing an unattended install with an XML file. So you could literally take your brand new PC, insert a USB drive into it, and install a truly debloated version of Windows from the start. One other quick thing to do is let's jump over here to Task Manager. Let's go to your startup apps and let's disable anything here that we don't want to start up automatically. If you take a look down here at services, you can see a lot of these are stopped by those tools and everything is nice and responsive. And there you have it. Your brand new PC is set up and ready to go. Hope you enjoy. Drop me a comment below if you have any questions. Do me a favor, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel really helps me out. It gets my videos out to more people so I can continue to bring you weekly videos just like this. Don't forget to check out some of these other video suggestions. And as always, thank you for watching and until next time.